folks, Madam is here. Have you ever thought you heard a hen crow? Chickens, like all birds, have a very interesting genetic trait that allows them to undergo a natural sex change. <laughs> During the embryotic stage, chickens, like all birds, produce two sex organs. However, unlike mammals, only the left sex organ develops and becomes a functioning sex organ. The right sex organ, the gonad, it stays dormant and does not develop. Now this is where the magic happens. Sometimes the left ovary will stop working. Uh, the bird maybe developed a tumor or a cyst. Uh, maybe the adrenal gland stopped functioning. Uh, there's a number of things that can stop the uh, sex organ from working. Now, what happens is the right gonad is activated. And when it's activated, it develops into either an ovary, a testes, or an ovotestes. So while the chicken does not make a complete transition into being a rooster, it is considered a phenotypical male. What this means is that the bird will stop laying eggs, it'll take on the physical characteristics of a rooster, uh, start growing spurs, uh, saddle feathers, long tail feathers, and it will start to crow. It does remain genetically female, however. Uh, research shows that phenotypical males can produce semen that is capable of fathering an offspring. However, most will not. They also will not lay eggs, even if they develop an ovotestes. Agricultural researchers have been trying to understand this process better, and they've been doing a fair bit of research into it in the last 10 or 15 years. They're trying to do this for the benefit of the commercial agricultural sector. What they found is that eggs that were fertilized with the semen from these phenotypical males produce all female offspring. Additionally, they've experimented with the generation of clone-like offspring by using the stem cells from blastoderms from a donor hen, injecting the semen material from a phenotypical male, and an egg produced by a hen. The resulting offspring is a chimeric hen and a chimeric rooster. This hen and this rooster are then mated. The resulting chicks that hatch from the pairing and their genetic components should be very similar to the donor blastoderm clone-like chickens, if that makes sense. This is the kind of thing that people talk about when discussing genetically modified foods. I'm not sure how I feel about this meddling. While I find it, while I find it entirely fascinating, and very interesting, it's also very disturbing on some fundamental levels. We raise heritage birds, the Canadian Chanticleer. Uh, these birds are, are real chickens. Uh, they live uh, like a real chicken does. Uh, they mate naturally as nature intended. Did you shit on me? <laughs> and while this sort of thing has applications on a commercial scale, I'm just not sure what it means for the future of our food. Personally, I don't like the words chimera, stem cell, clone-like, uh, being used to describe the food that I'm gonna eat. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm a little old school, but that's how I feel. It is all wonderful food for thought, however, and I'd be interested in hearing from you about what your thoughts are on this kind of meddling in our food system. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think these implications will have for the future of our food system? I really appreciate the support that you guys have shown for us. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. It really means a lot to us at the farm. 
uh, in our channel and the preservation and conservation of endangered heritage breeds. During these long winter days, I could really use the dopamine boost. So if you give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, oh, that will give me that feel good feeling. Thanks so much for watching. Your support really does help the conservation and preservation of these majestic and beautiful natural heritage breeds that are gonna help keep our agricultural and food system alive into the future after we've really messed it up with this sort of genetic meddling.